All right, how's everybody doing here? Um, I'm here to bring you guys a tutorial on how to use the new uh, iRacing feature for custom numbers. Um, I've seen a lot of people that are confused on how it works and how to utilize it and everything like that. Um, and the way that, that it was put out on iRacing, I know when I was reading the instructions, I was confused by it. But it's really not that complicated once you see how it's done. Um, if you've used decal layers in the past, it's very similar to that. So if you've done that before, you should... Uh, have no trouble at all with it. Um, so we'll get started. Um, the first thing you'll notice here is I have two separate paint schemes, uh, double zero and then one without it. The reason for that is you have to upload two different decals, two different paint schemes essentially. So that way, when you're racing, especially an official, um, you don't have a number, your official number overlapping the double zero. So if I upload this just straight up as an iRacing paint scheme, whatever my number is an official, it's going to show up over the double zero and it's going to look stupid. So the way it works is uh, there's two different methods. One, if you have Trading Paints Pro, which I have, uh, 24 bucks a year. If you're a painter like me, definitely worth it. If you want to utilize <coughs> this feature to its fullest potential, I guess you could say, then this is the way to go. Um, so I've deleted my paint schemes here, and I will re-upload them and just show you how it goes. So if you got Trading Paints Pro, you'll see this new beta feature, custom number paint, and uh, you can upload your paint scheme through that. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you how to do it here. So you choose your paint, upload paint, come up in here, and sign over LeBron. Let's see. College basketball fans know, even though last night was bad. All right. Anyways, I digress. Cut paints. And there we go. So let that upload real quick. Come up here by default. That's what it's going to do. It's going to upload um, the, the base paint to that. So that way if people have it on, uh, the feature on, it's still going to show that paint. And if you don't have numbers, uh, actually I believe in that case it would show no numbers. So it would look kind of goofy. In here, you put in your custom number for the particular car. <coughs> upload it. And then you'll see here, I have it off currently. So right now it's showing my iRacing number, which is the 97 for some reason. Um, in graphics here, hide car numbers. You want this checked. So you check that and you see in the background, paint's refreshed. Now in my experience, you have to get in the car to let the paint's refresh. I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is for me. Give it a second here and let it turn. Now that's, that's not it. I know that this is just gonna be a black car. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Okay, so there it is, and now it's gonna refresh again. It's just train paints doing its thing. <clears throat> so there it is. That's how you do it with Training Paints Pro. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, but like I said before, you don't necessarily need Training Paints Pro, but you do need Training Paints Pro for everybody else that is utilizing the feature in your session to see your number because they pulled the files your file from trading paints but i will go ahead and show you the other way to do it if you don't want to do trading paints but you still want to be able to show a custom number um so what you'll do is is you know, obviously you won't have this <clears throat> so when you're when you have your paint scheme this one with your number on it you're going to go to save you're going to go to your documents i racing paint the car that you're running this is what I do type in number or actually that might not work if you haven't pulled any numbers but what you need to do is have this car number car underscore number underscore and then this is your iRacing ID so mine is one six three seven zero two and then you just save it as that and it will it'll pull it for you but other people won't be able to download it because it's not in the trading paint system but if you're in like a league race or something like that and you want the broadcaster to have your your paint you can send them that file see how i have other people's files because i've raced with them with their custom numbers or i've watched them race because these are some peak drivers here i'm seeing um then 
you, so yeah, you can send them that file, and then it'll show up in the broadcast. It might not necessarily show up for the other people you're racing with. Actually, it won't unless they add your file too. <clears throat> but it will show up in the broadcast, so that's nice. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's pretty much how it works. When you save that, it will it'll show up in iRacing. Um, and yeah, if you guys got any more questions or if I missed anything, let me know. And I uh, hope this helps y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>